16 years, really? 16. You were like 12 when we did yeah. it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I don't know. You know, George hasn't had a lot going on. I needed something. I wanted I to help him get job. back in there. He was, he was a bit dejected. It's, Not it's much going on work. in the world for him. It was charity work for me. So, and I appreciate you know, it. I thought it was I like the least I could do for the old is guy. It, is it really and bright out look, here? Is that why he has the sunglasses a on? A day over 80. <laughs> I don't. Do really? I? No. I don't feel that. I feel like 78. It was very fun. It was a, it was a little bit it of was, fun. It was too yeah. much fun. There's guys. I got to work with Richard Kind, who I, I was best man in his wedding. Margaret is a prominent DA who is in a boatload of trouble, um, and she needs someone to come fix her very severe problem. And um, that person shows up, and that's George Clooney. And then someone else shows up, <laughs> uh, and that is Brad Pitt. And so there we have a bit of a conflict. We have two men for one job. They have amazing chemistry, and they're also such, I mean, they're extraordinary actors, and they welcomed me in as if I was one of their oldest friends as well, which I'm not, <laughs> but, uh, but I was glad for um, their generosity and just their, you know, they're just experts at what they do. It was scary, you know? Um, I didn't ever think that I would be in that position to be working so closely with the both of them, um, but I mean, they're very, gracious and welcoming, so they made it as easy as possible. Immediately they kind of um, <laughs> like welcomed me like an old friend, um, which was pretty amazing and also a little bit overwhelming at the time, because <laughs> I'm just kind of trying to like process the experience of guys that I've, um, you know, grown up looking at their faces and hearing their voices all the time and everything like that. Um, so yeah, it took a, took a second. I mean, it's just kind of a kid, really, that gets a nice, naive guy that gets caught up in trying to help someone, but then gets caught up with drugs and all this kind of stuff that he's, like, really not prepared for. The stunts are crazy. Running around in New York in your underwear and stuff like that is, you know, a little bit uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's two men who think they're very different from each other and very special and very unique, who meet on a job and discover that they're very similar and the downfall that comes from that discovery. Each one thinks that they're a lone wolf, and so the, when they meet, they discover they're not, they're, they're wolves. It's a caper and it's a buddy movie and it's, uh, it's a, a, a fun caper. I, think it's, I would think it's made to be fun. I have not seen it and I hear it's great, so I'm really excited. Was, am I any good? John Watts, who's a wonderful filmmaker, obviously did Cop Car and then these amazing Spider-Man films, had an incredible idea for how to bring Brad and George together in a film that had a really unique tone that would mix like action comedy, even mystery and thriller elements. Uh, he pitched it, Brad and George signed on, he then wrote it, it was exactly what he pitched and then he made a film that was very much the vision that he originally talked about.